What's up, everybody? Vince Ingenito here. I'm here with my buddy Brendan. What's hey, up, man? Yeah, uh, what's up? Uh, we're. I'll tell you what's up. We're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. We sure are. And uh, you know, I wanted to clue people in on an important thing that's a little bit hidden in this game because almost every single RPG has some way to respec for for those who aren't total RPG nerds. That means like, like to me, um, <laughs> who I. I I spec all my points in like defense and like I'm like wait a minute I can't kill anything well I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you're not familiar with the term though, respec means to basically reallocate your your skill points to specialize um, in a different area. to respecialize exactly yes. that's what it's short for. So you go to the undercroft next to the throne room I saw. Right, you go you from the throne room you go into the undercroft which as you might know is where like all your crafting is going to happen in Skyhold. Nice little place too. Yep, and uh, what you might not have noticed is this little totem on the side and this is actually a vendor what? who's manning this vendor what? who's who's ringing you up who's buying your stuff i don't know it's just like uh, a hawking like stick a gnome in that barrel full of happy <laughs> pops out so you, you go to this hawking stick and the first item that that it defaults to is uh under the accessories uh is this is the uh tactician's renewal this is an amulet mm -hmm. okay that uh we, we can examine it, it'll show you uh, it says respec abilities, single use. So once you, um, once you equip this, it will it will shatter, and it will uh, let you uh, respec. And the nice thing, you know, uh, is that the first one is pretty much on the house. You yeah. know, it's it's just one gold, which is nice. But if you want to oh, keep respecing further after that, like that's a limited time offer you get that one at well, that that's rate like they give you the freebie yeah they give you the freebie and then they and then they charge you 345 gold er, uh, for every well, respect you have 6, 000, so that's a feasibly you could do it again and not have to worry about oh, absolutely no, I can't buy anything now i think it's a good balance because like m money is actually fairly scarce in this game mm -hmm. and i like that it's scarce to a to a nice degree where you never feel like you just have you're just swimming in money and you don't care anymore mm -hmm. um so the three f the, the, the the three and change that it costs to respect is um, it's definitely high enough that you're like, hey, you know, I don't want to throw away all my money, but it's definitely not prohibitive to the point where yeah, you feel like you don't you can't do it. probably shouldn't do it too many times. Right. So we'll go in, you know, go to your accessories. You'll find it. It's under amulets. And there it is, Tactician's Renewal. So you have We're to gonna... equip a thing that makes you forget stuff. Yes. I don't know how that works exactly, but I equipped it. Now it, it, it disappears out of my inventory, goes away. I'll re-equip my old, uh, oh, that was not what I was, uh, it was probably this. Yeah, that's what I was wearing. All right, and now if we go to my uh, character record, uh, we'll see that all 11 of my skill points are now uh, are now back in mind. the pool. Yeah, I've, my, my brain has been erased, and uh, and I I am free to to do with this as I as I as I would like. And this is really key because um, what we what we haven't shown here, but mm -hmm. we'll, I'm sure I'm sure we'll show in in other videos is that uh, um, actually no, maybe I can show yeah with the, one of the other characters. Sure, so. When the game starts, you only have, like, for instance, Cassandra, the warrior, you only have four skill trees. You've mm -hmm. got the, like, for instance, for the warrior, you have weapon and shield, you have two-handed weapon, battle master, and vanguard. But once you get to Skyhold, everyone's going to get this fifth skill tree, and this is the skill tree that really defines them and really oh. makes them unique. And uh, otherwise, every warrior seems like it's going to be the same, and you're kind of like, oh, that's boring. Then you get, like... 30 hours into the game, you get to Skyhold, and these new this new skill tree, a unique skill tree, opens up for every character, and you're like, geez, I've been spending all these skill points on these generic trees, and now I can't spend as much as I want to in their really cool trees that kind of define them, and it's kind of like, you're, you know, you're thinking to yourself, there's got to be a way to respec, but the game doesn't really slap you in the face with it. So we figured it'd be useful for people to see, yes, you can, in fact, respec, so don't worry. Once you get to Skyhold and you start getting these really cool new skill trees that you want to experiment with and put points into, no worries. Just, you know, head on down to this little area. So uh, that's good because uh, you're, you're, you're finding new party members throughout the game and yeah. they already have their own set of abilities. Is mm -hmm. that right? Um, well, by this point in the game, you've found... You, you'll have found most you've of your... You've already found them and you've leveled them your up. Your part, exactly. And then you get to hear you go, oh, wait... Somebody who I, I took on as a sword and board warrior, I can now say, you know what, I want you to be two-handed warrior. And you're sure. able to respect that. That's nice. Absolutely. That's great. And even more importantly, like I said, you know, for me, it's like you're only going to get to level 18, 19 in this game. Like there's not mm – -hmm. so it's like if, if you've got – if you're level 12 or 13 – you know when you when you re when you uh, when you get to Skyhold and start putting points into the new s uh, skill tree, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel like oh, I can only really put like three or four points 
into the new skill tree. I really can't explore it very completely. I wish I had known about this, otherwise I would have saved my skill points. But you don't have to. Just you know, just head on over to here and and wipe away all those old decisions and start up start up a I'd new. I'd even say make a save file, test out another respec, and if you don't like how the new abilities feel, then you go back to your other save and just try a different path. Sure. Or if you're Daddy Warbucks and you just don't care about the 345, just keep spending that money. Well, there you go. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's how you respec in uh, in Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, that's awesome. So be sure, guys, stay tuned. We get even more in-depth guides in Dragon Age Inquisition. And for more on dragons, Inquisitions, and everything else in between, <laughs> stay tuned right here to IGN.